I think just the feeling we got walking through the school. Like, there's no bells and whistles, there's no computer lab, but you can feel the energy and you can feel the joy in the kids in the classrooms. And my husband and I both looked at each other and we're like, oh my gosh, this is it. Like, <laughs> we, we found our school. Our kids were actually attending a public school, elementary school, down the street. We were looking for a more challenging environment for our kids. We didn't know what we were getting into. But literally within the first semester, we were all in. As a public school educator for so many years, I was a never charter person. And I realize now in hindsight that I had been fed a lot of propaganda about charter schools. And when I started actually researching it, I learned, oh, it's really what is best for the education of each child. At Great Hearts, we love to form the hearts and minds of students through the pursuit of the true, the good, and the beautiful. Our students are going to read great books from Frog and Toad in first grade to the Brothers Karamazov in their senior year. We took a look at that book list and we were sold. One thing that we had found in our public school experience is that we were constantly monitoring what our children were being assigned to read. And we really loved the book list at Great Hearts because we knew we were confident that they were being presented with material that was incredibly rich and would really uh, trigger their imaginations and their love of learning. The distinction of Great Hearts, as we saw it at that point, was that it would have the diversity that private schools didn't have, but then also an excellence in curriculum that typically one would not find in a public school. Our aim is to raise up virtuous young men and women who have a sense of purpose and vision who are endowed with a sense of destiny that's been shaped by the great conversation and who are equipped to live it out. Great Hearts does an incredible job of uniting and marrying the intellectual formation with moral formation. One of the great things about Great Hearts is that it appeals, instead of what is most base in our, our human nature, it appeals to what is the highest. For me, education isn't just about what you're learning in class that academic-wise, it's a building and forming of character. They're gonna study and pursue those ennobling and lasting things with teachers who are intellectually, morally, and aesthetically alive. The teachers at Great Hearts set an exemplary example. They go above and beyond in also demonstrating these virtues in their own lives. There is so much to love about Great Hearts, but it all starts in the classroom. What I love about teaching is being in the classroom with my students. This is a classical education, and for generations, it's only been available at elite private schools. But we seek to make it available to all families, at least to all families who are willing to go on the journey with us. One thing that we were pleasantly surprised with actually when we got to Great Hearts is that not only is the curriculum itself unifying in that it all coheres, but it also is unifying in that it brings diverse students from different socioeconomic backgrounds, different cultures, and it unifies them through the pursuit of truth and through the reading of excellent material. All the riches of the liberal arts those which set their soul free, these are their rightful inheritance, their intellectual inheritance. And we endeavor to give them their initial possession of it. I was initially drawn to STEM type schools because I thought I love science and technology and engineering and math. What I found out is that most of the schools really aren't STEM. What they are is giving kids a screen, which doesn't, I don't think the science shows, help them learn very well. But what Great Hearts is, is they emphasize science and engineering and math. They give them all those things that actually will make them technology workers. So I think Great Hearts, even though it doesn't advertise itself as STEM, is truly one of the deepest STEM schools that you could go to. We're going to an elite private school without the $30,000 price tag. As a professor in a, a, a liberal arts college, I had met a few of the graduates from the Arizona schools that came and they were impressive. Great Hearts was the best decision we could make for our students' education. As we continue to grow, we invite you to join us for the journey.